Um, I wanted to talk about the news article that's out, and it basically said that there are two confirmed cases in Canada in two provinces, one in Ontario and one in British Columbia. So now this swine flu has made it into uh, completely into North America. Right now, it is not a big deal. Right now, it is just um, very, very mild, mildly spreading uh, across the country in North America. It's not doing a whole lot. Um, and if you read the newspaper article, it will tell you that this is a new strain of the flu a new strain of the flu. It is called the H1N1. It, um, it is a hybrid of uh, swine flu, of human flu virus, and the avian flu virus. Now what makes this so dangerous is that it has the DNA of the avian flu which is a very very deadly strain of the flu. Now it is spreading amongst human to human now and so now it is and of course like this virus this type A influenza virus is an airborne contagious virus. It's an airborne contagious virus and a lot of people in Mexico City are wearing uh, nose and face I think it was a nose and mouth mask um, a lot of people are saying to wear that I think I personally think it'll be very very difficult to keep this virus out of the system because after all it is airborne it is contagious um, I would I would think that it w it can get in another way if not through the respiratory system, um, and I would like to I would like to um, talk about common cold and flu remedies such as echinacea and golden seal and all of the different types of homeopathy remedies, but since this this type type A virus which is a hybrid avian human and swine uh, influenza virus uh, that may have been genetically engineered uh, because it has this outbreak has happened before in the past um, and it has the population has had um, imm immunizations uh, vaccinations um, for this. So anyways, I'd like to say that it is now in British Columbia. Um, it is in the very northern parts of North America. Uh, it, it is dangerous. It is dangerous because even though it may not be causing a, a huge wildfire right now, um, once cold season and flu season comes this winter, and everybody gets sick and everyone's immune system is down uh, this virus can activate and cause a lot of trouble so um, I think no one really is safe around the world I think this will travel to Europe I think this will travel to Asia I think this will travel to uh, Africa every country in the world will have a dormant a dormant mutant um, hybrid virus, a uh, very contagious airborne virus called the H1N1. Um, I, I encourage everyone to study viruses and to look it up on the internet. Um, Google it or look it up in the uh, internet encyclopedias. Um, you can look up H1N1, you can look up viruses, you can look up influenza virus, Avian, e avian flu, bird flu, um, all of these, and even even the structure of a virus, uh, and do more research on yourself, on your with uh, yourself.